To get started using the Line 6 FBV3 with Sunday Guitar 2, you first need to connect the controller to your computer using a USB cable, and then download the Line 6 FBV Control app from Line 6's website. It can be a little difficult to locate this software on Line 6's website, so we'll include a direct download link in the description of this video below. Once you've downloaded and installed the FBV Control app, and your controller is connected via USB, open up the FBV Control app. When you do, the controller should be automatically detected and you'll see an interface on screen that looks like this. Now we're gonna use the FBV Control app to make each of the foot switches send MIDI CC data as the MIDI command. To do this, you select a button on screen and then you can designate the type of command it sends. So you would choose MIDI CC and then you set the value. You set the port, the channel, and the switch mode. I would recommend that you use the exact settings that you see on screen here. So if you'd like, you can pause this video and use it as a reference as you set up all of the foot switches in the FBV control app for yourself. Now, you can set this up in a number of different ways to control Sunday Guitar 2, but this is how I've chosen to set things up. All of the buttons send MIDI CC data. There are actually two CC values for the pedal. That's the pedal wah and the pedal volume value. And the reason that there are two values here is because the toe switch, which is actually when you go full toe down on the pedal itself, toggles between the wah and volume functions. I've chosen to set the toe switch as 115 and both the pedal wah and pedal volume as 116. This means that when I use the toe switch, I can use it to toggle something on or off like the wah effect, but both the wah and volume functions are seen by main stage as the exact same thing. Depending on your use case, you could change the value of pedal wah or pedal volume so that one or the other has a different assignment inside of Sunday Guitar 2. But if you'd like to use Sunday Guitar's wah effect, I'd recommend you set these both to the same value. And then the toe switch will just turn the wah on or off. Now, all changes that you make are passed through to your controller in real time. So there's no need to hit send or sync. So every time you make a change, it automatically gets passed through and saved by the controller. But you can also save all the layout changes that you're making here by going to file, and then save. You can save this on your computer then if you want to test out multiple different settings or if you know that you have a couple configurations you'd like to be able to easily change between, then you just go to file and save. And if you ever need to load that back up, you can open it and then it will automatically be flashed back over to the hardware. Once you've got all of the buttons sending MIDI CC data, all separate values, all on the same channel, and set to momentary, then you're ready to open up Sunday Guitar 2 and make your assignments. One last note about this controller, if you set the switch mode to toggle, then the lights on the controller will stay on when you press the button the first time and then turn off the second time. We've tried here as a team at Sunday Sounds to get this to sync up with Sunday Guitar 2's pedal buttons, but unfortunately, the Line 6 doesn't seem to be capable of mirroring the settings of buttons in main stage. So anytime you select a patch that starts with some pedals on, then the LEDs will be out of sync with what's happening in main stage. Because of this, to eliminate confusion, we've just set the switch mode to momentary so that when you push a button, the LED just flashes while the button is being pushed. So it's not ideal either way. Uh, to be able to toggle and have the LEDs actually match main stage would be really cool, but there doesn't seem to be a way with the current firmware on the FBV3 to get that to happen. So we recommend momentary. Now we're gonna open up Sunday Guitar 2 and we recommend that you make a duplicate of your concert by going to File, Save As, and then amending the file name with something like FBV3, and then hitting Save. This way, any changes that you make to your stock concert will not affect the original, and you'll always have that as a backup, just in case you need to undo something, or if you want to be able to reference the original files in the future. Once you've duplicated your concert, you simply go over to Layout Mode, and again, your controller needs to be connected to your computer, then all you're going to do is select the button that you'd like to assign, hit assign, and then stomp on the physical sw foot switch on your controller. 
recommend doing this an even number of times. One, two, three, four. To make sure that the button type is interpreted correctly by main stage. You're gonna do this process for every control that you'd like to assign on the FBV3. Now, there is a way that makes the most sense to me to set this up so that it physically mirrors what you see inside of Sunday Guitar. So I have foot switches A through D and FS1 through FS4 assigned to the eight pedal switches inside of Sunday Guitar 2. I have the bank up and bank down buttons mapped to previous and next patch. I have the tap button assigned to the tap tempo button in the layout right here. And then I used FS5 for the tuner. The volume pedal gets assigned to the volume pedal, like so. And I also assigned the toe down position, the button inside of the pedal, to this wah on button. So to do that, you would just select the button, press assign, and then push down on the pedal, and you'll see that toggle on and off. This lets you turn the wah on and off, just like you would with the real wah pedal when you have wah selected as the parameter. Now that gives you one more button left over, the function button, the top right button of the row of three on the FBV3. And you could do whatever you wanted to do with this. You could assign it to favorite one if you wanted to be able to jump to any one favorite patch at any time. What I've chosen to do is assign it to turn tonic on and off. So this lets me fire tonic at any time from any patch and I can use Tonic Automator if I would like to be able to uh, predetermine the key and the drone preset and all the settings of Tonic, and then I can turn it on with that function button. But you could use that to control the mono button. You could use that to control an extra parameter inside of one of the pedals. Um, there's no limit to what you can do. You could use it to turn the metronome on and off. Um, all sorts of things that you can do, you're just limited by uh, your creativity and your comfort level inside of main stage. I think being able to turn tonic on and off from my feet is a really cool function. And that's that's it, that's how you set up the FBV3. So now I've got tactile control of the eight pedals. I can go preset up, down, use tap tempo. I can use the tuner, turn the tuner off, and you're ready to go. If you wanna use the wah pedal, you just select a wah as the pedal insert. And then when you go heel or toe down, then you'll toggle the wall on and off. And then heel off will turn it back off. If you have questions about connecting the FBV3, I recommend that you check out the user manual for the FBV3 itself and the documentation for the FBV control app. If you're still having trouble, let us know and we'd be happy to help.